Hi, this is Dr. Martin David Jones at Augusta University, and we're going to be talking ear training today. Today's subject is modulation. So I have two that I was going to do today. We're going to start with this one. So you can fill out your paper with um, C in the bass, C in the tenor, E in the soprano, G, uh, excuse me, E in the alto, and G in the soprano. There will be a grand total of eight chords, four quarter notes in the first measure, four quarter notes in the second measure, okay? So I'm giving you the rhythm for free here, and I'm giving you this chord for free. Let's quickly tonicize, as we like to do in my class. <laughs> accentuating the bass. Uh, since this is recorded, um, I will only play the bass, I will only accentuate the bass once and you may pause it and re-listen to it as many times as you need to. Okay, so here we go. I will accentuate the bass. Okay, and you'll probably pause and listen to that several times. Now I'll feature the soprano, and the soprano starts on sol. Ready again? and listen to the soprano several times. Now I will feature chord quality, so you'll want to listen to if it's major, if it's minor, if it's dominant seventh. Ready, begin. Okay, now let's go through it. I will start again by accentuating the bass. So if I asked you to sing it back on La, you would sing La, La. So we know we modulated to this pitch here. And if you remember back to our beginning starting pitch, it was this. So the distance between those, the original do, la, and the new do, la, you might say that those are what interval apart? Well, they are a fourth. So a fourth up from C would give you F here. And we'll want to work backwards here. So if you think of the whole last measure, there. I think you hear do something, sol, do. And then what would this be then you're thinking? Do, fa, sol, do. So we'd write fa and the thing of it is this is where you want to be careful because if I'm in the key of F now I have to think about the accidentals and our, what's my new key signature? Does it have a B flat in it? Yes it does. So we'll want to put that there. Something you don't want to forget. Now, how did we begin? Do something, something, something. So, how far did we go up at the beginning? Do goes up to what? Well, it's sol. And then it returns to do. So that's our entire bass line. And you can, if you continue to solfege, you can do it two different ways. You can keep the original do all the way through, or you can change your solfege here to an F major. I'll sing it both ways. This is if I keep my do C all the way through. Do, sol, do, do, fa, te, do, fa. So you're ending on a fa there. Or we could make this the new do here. 
Starting again would be do, sol, do, do, nu do, fa, sol, do. Two ways to do it, depends upon how you hear it. Now let's go through the soprano. If you thought it was te, you would be right. And that's an accidental. Te is also what in the new key? It becomes fa in the new key. Fa, mi, fa, re, do. OK. Now, going through, um, and obviously pause and go over whatever section you need to do and listen to my explanation again. But I'll go into the chord quality here. Major, major, major again, and you hear hello, 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 you hear the dominant seventh, go to major, go to major, we hear the dominant seventh, hello, 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 major. So figuring that one out here, we have, and I'm... I'm modulating the key of F, so I'm going to write this lightly here, F. We don't know exactly when we'll modulate, but we know we will. If you thought this was major, it's going to be 5. If you thought this was major, it's going to be 1. And this becomes 5, 7. Hmm. Well, that's 5, 7 of 4, but I'm putting that in pencil here because we may not need that. Because this also is what in the key of F? I'm going to put my F line here because I think I know where my pivot is now. If my F line is here, this becomes 5. And this becomes 5, 7. And once you do that, you realize I don't need to put these um, secondary dominants in here anymore because now I'm clearly in my new key of F. 1, 4, 5, 7, 1. I will quickly do the part writing for you. You can pause here and see what you figured out by yourself. But I'll just write it in now. Gotta look at what I decided to do on my sheet there. Some E. B flat. I'll play it once more so you get the full effect, and please zoom in on the, the, the dry erase board there. So that's my first example. I had another modulation I wanted to do. Um, and this one um, will also be in the key of C. Uh, I'm going to erase a little bit here. Got a good look at that one. I'm going to take this out a little bit now so that we can see what we're doing here with number two. Um, that one will be only seven chords. So the first measure will be quarter, 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 four quarters, followed by quarter, quarter, half here. It's a total of seven chords. I'm giving you the first one for free, so you've got to figure out the next six. Okay? All right. Uh, we're already tonicized in C, so I'm just going to continue on here. I'm going to play the bass line here. I will accentuate the bass. Ready to begin? and listen to that any number of times necessary. Okay, and then now I will play the soprano, and after I play it, please pause and listen to it as many times as you need. Soprano starts on me. Okay, and then we can 
and listen to the chord quality. Here we go. It starts out on major, of course. Okay, let's talk about how we're going to get this whole thing together now. So first we'll listen to the bass again. So we'll sing it back. La, la, la. first original dough it was this so they're this far apart how far are those apart la, la. what's the interval of a fourth so a fourth down from our original C would be the note G so we're gonna decide that's where we modulated to was G okay and it was preceded by what something something dough in the new key all right so do we, we were preceded by soul, okay? So I'm, I like to work backwards that way. Now let's go to the beginning and see how much of the bass line we can get from the beginning. Do something, do. So how far did we go up? Do, re, mi, fa. Oh, we went up to fa. Do, fa, back down to do, and then something to Re, re, sol. I'm keeping my original do all the way through that time. <clears throat> so you can hear do, and this would be la. It goes down to the A. La, re, re, sol. Once again, let's sing that together. Do, fa, do, la, re, re, sol. Okay? And then listen to the soprano. stepwise beginning, mi, fa, mi, and we jump up to something, mi, fa, so, la, okay, la, and now, remember we're going to G major here, la, sol, which becomes our new do, do, t, do, if you hear it in the new key, or if you hear it in the old key, mi, fa, mi, la, so, fi, so, either way you should hear an accidental here. And what might that accidental be? It would be F sharp. So we've got the soprano and the, um, and the bass. We'll go for the chord quality. You hear it as major, of course. Another major. Another major. Ooh, minor. two lines here. We have our G major line. I don't know exactly where I'm going to put my pivot yet. I'll know soon enough. So if we think this is major, it'd be one. If we think this is major, it'd be four. If we think this is major, it'd be one. And then this chord we thought was minor. So it's on the sixth degree of the scale, so we could put an A minor chord there, and that would be the sixth chord. Also, but we know that in G major it's also two, so that might be a great place to pivot. I'm going to put my G here. There we go. Uh, then we go to, uh, what would this be? Hmm. You know, if you're not sure, you do know that the distance between here and here is not a third, and it's not a fifth. It's a fourth. And when it, it's a fourth, if it's not a third or a fifth, that means it's some kind of inversion. Well, in this case, it's going to be the one, six, four. Oops. 
I'm going to get down here to do this here. Do, um, and I need to keep it on the G line, so I'm going to write down here 164. We thought this was a dominant 7, so it'd be the 5, 7. And that would be 1, all in the key of G. I will now do the part writing quickly. You can pause it here and test yourself. Do the part writing and see how well you match. And you can keep it on the dry erase board so they can hear it all the way through. It sounds like this. Now one thing to keep in mind, this, the first one modulated from C major to F major, which is its subdominant. The second one modulated from C major to G major, which is the dominant. So those are the two most common closely related key modulations, and I wanted to show you both of them. So this has been uh, a little journey into modulation. Dr. Jones, out.